come in. Well, hello there. You don't look like you're from around here, do you? <laughs> I know these things, trust me. I've been living in this town for far too long, so I know what the locals and what a lot of people here look like, and you don't look like you fit the bill. I don't mean that offensively, I just mean that you don't look like you belong here. <laughs> so, if you're not from the town, you don't know of me, do you? I mean, obviously, to a certain extent, but you don't know the tales about me. Or you do, and you've decided to ignore them. Which... Hmm, intrigues me. So which one is it? Do you not know of me? The way I'm asking, or do you know of the tales and decided to ignore them? You've heard of the tales of someone who lives in these woods as you are passing through town. And what did those tales say, exactly? <laughs> oh, it's, it's not you, it's what the tale said. Quite amusing. I'm a witch who steals people's souls and it caves them up for no one to ever see them in the light of day again. Very intriguing. Very funny as well. Because I'm no witch. No, I'm a sorceress. And there's a difference between sorceress and witch. A very big difference to be in fact. <laughs> well, yes, there's a big, big difference. I'm much more powerful than just a normal witch. But I'm not just a sorceress. I have other means to my disposal. Is that all they said? Did they say anything else? Just that I'm dangerous and you should be on your guard. Hmm. Who did you exactly hear this from? The younger folk or the elders? The youngers. <laughs> I thought as much. The elders have a little bit more of a spin when it comes to me. <laughs> I just mean that their tales about me are a lot, lot more deadly than the ones that you hear from the youngsters. But... You're here now, so... Why are you here? Oh, come now, you're here for some reason. You wouldn't just hear these tales and bar through my door. And I'm not easily found, so someone must have brought you here. Someone who's come before. I don't have many people in the village that have come to see me before, so there's only a few I could think of. And those few work for me, so... <laughs> yes, they work for me. See, I did something for them and... Well... When I say they work for me because I did something for them... Basically... What I did for them, it's not something they can easily just... Do me something nice and then the debt's repaid. No, unfortunately, this debt rolls on. Because what they asked me to do 
is something that, well, how can I say it? It was a life for a life, basically, if you know what I mean. <laughs> doesn't matter. Now come on, stop standing in the doorway and come sit down. I promise I don't bite hard, unless you provoke me. Could I interest you in a drink? You travelled far, you must be dehydrated. Get our customer a drink. Now. Oh. He's just someone that works here. I helped him with a problem and now he is my servant. Yes, my servant. No, I will not tell you what I did for him to put him in this position because that was a contract made between me and him and I take privacy very, very seriously. So, may I ask why you're doing here? As I said, no one walks through my door without a very good reason. You've heard I've got power, so you needed my assistance. Well, like I told you, I am a sorceress, so I have a lot more powers than you think I could ever have. But what is it you need me to do? No, I will not discuss payment until I hear what you want me to do, due to the fact that payment is dependent on what you're asking for. There is a lot of ways to pay for something, but are you willing to take that risk? <laughs> You'd pay anything. Really. Are you sure on that? Are you absolutely positive? Anything. Anything at all. No matter what it was. Mm. What if it was your soul? Or your life? What if it was something much more drastic than even them two. Would you still do it? You would? Ah well, well. Then proceed. Tell me what you want. And if I can do it, I will help. You've fallen in love with a maiden, and you want my help? You want a love spell? An enchantress spell? Hmm. Oh, you want me to kill someone? Wow. <laughs> You're the first one to enter my door with that kind of request. Interesting. And who is it that you would address me to kill exactly? The maiden's father. May I ask exactly why? Couldn't you just run off with this maiden? He's got power, and you've tried to run off before, and he beat you within an inch of your life. 
You do know that this kind of assistance is something that does not come cheap. This will cost you quite a lot. Are you willing to pay that price? Are you willing to sacrifice for love? Are you sure that this maiden loves you back? Are you sure she's worth this? The only reason I'm asking is because a lot of the time, naive, foolish, people like yourselves go beyond the extreme for other people and they get used for it. Are you sure you know this maiden enough? Are you sure that you know her so well that you're willing to lay down your life for her? Oh, I'm not saying I cannot do the task at hand. I could do it rather swiftly and with hardly any effort. But before I do, I want to make sure you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. My payment for doing this for you would be for you to be in servitude to me for the rest of your life. Anything I want, whenever I want it, no matter the day, the night, the month or season. Are you willing to do that? Come on now. I'm waiting. I don't have all day, you know. Are you willing? live in servitude to me. <laughs> no, you would not have to live in the accommodations like this one does, I assure you. Hmm. So you're willing to make the deal? Come here. locking the door to seal an agreement like this we need some privacy without prying eyes now now there is one thing that you were not told in town which is very rude I think but you've already made this agreement with me so no time like the present, is there? <laughs> uh, sh 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 sh. <laughs> yes. I'm a vampire. A vampire sorceress, to be exact. And we're very, very rare. See, before I was made a vampire, I was a witch. And as time went on, I was learned in the way of sorcery, so I upgraded. <laughs> I've lived in these forests for over 200 years, and I am a very popular topic of conversation in the village. That's why I asked you if you talked to the elders. 
But the elders know a lot more about me than the youngsters do. All the youngsters know is that they have to be aware of the forest and not come near it. <laughs> because there's some sort of evil force living inside the forest. You really should have paid more attention and really should have gone and asked the elders before stepping into these woods. Look, <laughs> I'm not going to kill you. If I did, then we wouldn't be able to keep our agreement now, would we? But before you go, I need to seal the bond between us. Yes. See, I need to bite you. I need to taste your blood, and I need to link you to me, so then you be able to hear me, wherever you are, doesn't matter if you're the other side of the world, you will still be able to hear me. <laughs> oh, don't worry, you want me to do something for you. And this is the price, your servitude to me, and an eternal link. I won't make you a vampire, but think of it as making you kind of like a ghoul. I bite you, I drink a bit of your blood, and you drink a little of mine. But I don't take enough of your blood to make you a vampire. Oh, Are you still willing to do this deal? Or I will let you go if you're not. Decide. Now. Wow. <laughs> you're the first person I've known to be so willing. Mm. This may hurt at first, but believe me when I say that the benefits outweighs the negative. And everything that we want in life, we have to pay a price for. And you've agreed to this price. Hmm. Believe me when I say that going through with this Will be a benefit not only on my side but on yours as well because I can be a very powerful ally if need be but I'm only that kind of ally if you show yourself to be loyal if you're not loyal then your demise may come sooner than you expect <laughs> Oh, no, 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 not by someone else's hands, but by mine. You see, when someone is bound to me, then I have control over them. And if I want you here, you'll come regardless. Because if you do not, I can cause you more pain than you thought was imaginable. And trust me, you don't want that. Mm, so, let's get on with this, shall we? Mm, you look so scared. You really should have been told more about what you were getting yourself into. <laughs> because you look absolutely petrified. But believe me, you don't have to. You're safer in here with me than you are out there. No doubt you've been hearing the rustling and the extra noises that are happening outside. There's some nasty creatures out there. And they would gallop you up. But until morning, you can 
stay here. <laughs> now, bend your head to the side and come closer to me. Mm, that's good. <laughs> it's very, very different to feel. <laughs> You're the first one I haven't had to hypnotize. Mm. Well, let's get this over with, shall we? <laughs> well, she tastes quite sweet. <laughs> Makes me laugh because you're asking me to do such a not thing for you. But they always do say that the most devilish of things make the most sweetest treats. <laughs> Now, here we go. Drink. Go on. I haven't taken enough of your blood to turn you into a vampire. So, the effects will only bind you to me. That's all. Have an eternal presence of me within you. There you go. Mm. <laughs> mm. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> there we go. With them. Greedy, greedy. Well, we need a bit. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You may be a bit dizzy. The essence of my blood inside you may make it just that little bit of in a kind of intoxicated drunk state for a little while. But my offer that I offered earlier is still available. You may stay here for the night. <laughs> oh, you have a very, very observant eye. Yes, there is only one bed. He sleeps outside. He's got his own little hut. No more than maybe a foot away from here, around the back. But you can sleep in here with me. Mm. And besides, you haven't got your damsel yet, have you? So you're still a single man. And, well, there must be some urges that you have that can be useful tonight. <laughs> and maybe I can help bring them out of you a bit more. What do you say? How about a one-off encounter with your vampire mistress? Huh? <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, this way then, I promise this will be a night like no other. <laughs>